Hi, I'm Daphne Richards and this is Augie. Our question this week comes from Nancy and Rob Hansk who ask, why are our oak trees producing so many acorns this year and how often will this happen? Rob and Nancy say they've only been in their home since 2015 and while their live oak had a fair number of acorns last year, it was nothing compared to the fall of 2016. They've swept countless gallons of acorns from hard safe surfaces and are dealing with the deluge in their lawn and garden. Well, you're right, Nancy and Bob. This is definitely an exceptional year for acorn production. A fact that I can attest to having received a painful sprained ankle from the annoying number of acorns in my own yard. Nancy notes that she hasn't noticed so many acorns from any of the other trees in her neighborhood and wonders if the pruning they had done to their tree about a year ago was a contributing factor. Well, Nancy, I bet that at least some of your neighbors are having similar problems, and rest assured, the pruning wasn't an issue. There are a few different reasons involved, including differences in species and planting time. In my yard, the red oak is producing a lot more acorns than the live oak, while my Monterey oak produced almost none at all. So while the general trend this year is oak trees that are virtually raining acorns, the situation is variable. The issue is also climate related. After many years of drought, we've had two years of abundant rainfall, giving trees more ability to grow, photosynthesize, recover, and reallocate resources for future generations. There's also an evolutionary connection here. Nut-producing trees have developed a cyclical reproduction habit, which has been shown to keep the population of nut-eating animals, such as squirrels, off balance. Fewer nuts one year will curb critter populations so that the next time the tree has a good year, there won't be as many consumers and more nuts will have a better chance to survive and grow into new trees. This cycle is irregular, so it may be a number of years before this problem is bad again. In addition to their questions, Nancy and Rob also sent along some of the tricks they've developed for dealing with the issue. After laborious, virtually futile attempts to rake the acorns, they decided that they had to take more drastic steps. First, they installed some inexpensive nylon netting on one corner of the tree, keeping the nuts from landing on the ground in the first place. Next, they purchased a nut gathering tool, such as those marketed for collecting pecans, to see if it would also work on acorns, and it did. Thanks, Nancy and Rob. Our plant this week is Mexican flame vine, a beautiful plant that grows quickly, making a stunning statement in any garden. Mexican flame vine may be evergreen and bloom all year in warm winters and in zones nine and above, but tends to be an annual in zone eight and colder. Even if it has to be replaced each year, this plant is well worth the effort. Monarch butterflies simply love the bright orange flowers and will flock to it while on their migration. Mexican flame vine must have a trellis or some other support, but quickly grows to 10 to 12 feet tall and about two feet wide. Plant in full sun or light shade and water regularly, but don't overwater. The only problem we've ever noticed with this plant in our demonstration garden is dieback at the base in times of heavy rainfall. If that happens and you lose the plant, increase the drainage with amendments or a berm in future plantings. We have several great viewer pictures this week. Brian Tabone sent this one of a queen butterfly on pansy, illustrating exactly why we should all plant pansies and violas in winter. Lisa Hatfield in Midland sent photos of her four nerve daisies. She notes that this plant is perhaps the best perennial in her challenging West Texas garden. Lisa started with only three small plants, which naturalized quickly and are each now about 18 inches wide. In times of extreme heat and lack of rain, Lisa notes a bit of dieback in the middle, but the plants fill back in quickly with improved conditions, staying green and even blooming through most cold Midland winters. We'd love to hear from you, so please visit us at klru.org to send us questions and photos from your garden. Mm -hmm.